aren't you tired of having essays this messy and having your teachers have to grade them all day? They'd rather give a zero than try to read this thing. So forget the paper. Make a website. Something that is easy, neat, and interactive for your teachers. Let's begin. Okay, so you need a Google account, not your FCPS account. You need an actual home account. If you can't, make one. And so this is uh, Google Sites. Uh, you can go up here and then just choose Sites. And then you click Create. And you can create your website. So these are some templates that you can use. There are a bunch of templates like training site templates. But you're using something from school and education. So like project website or an e-portfolio or a personal website even or a teacher template or something that fit that fits your need. If you don't want to do that and you feel like you don't like anything, then choose a blank template. Name your site. And choose a URL. Choose something that you can that's easy to resemble. And select a theme. This will sh basically get you a good uh, like highlighting and uh, font. You don't have to, but let's just choose launch default. More options. If there's a description, you don't have to fill that out. And then type the code. Okay, once you're done, click create. Oh, okay. So it's not available. So let's choose something else. Let's try that. Does it work? No, that's not available either. Okay, fine. I don't think anyone chose this before. Yay! Okay, good. It worked. Alright, so this is what you get. It looks bland, but we're going to show you how to turn this into this. This is mm, the website that I made for my origami contest called the Origamathon. You can easily search this up on Google and you'll find it. It's just a quick little website that you can do. And there are a bunch of things, like you can put table of contents. You can include Google Forms, like that. Or you can even put PowerPoints, well, Google presentations, of course, like this, directly in. And if you don't feel like doing that, then you can embed HTML directly. So let's get started. So click here to um, the gear icon and go down to Manage Site. Okay, that's your site name. That'll work. It doesn't need to be changed. The landing page should be home. That should be good. That should be good. All right. So, now you can go down to themes, colors, and fonts. Here, you can change your background. For example, color right now is on theme. But if you want, you can change it to something else, like a custom color. And if you don't like any of these colors, you can go to an HTML color picker which you can easily find online. Choose a nice color that you like. Choose a hue. Control C. And just go here and enter it right at the bottom. Control V. So now you have something darker. Um, mm, I don't really want any image. We'll just keep that as theme. Text should be a nice light color. Something that is easy to see, but not like that. Basically, you can go along with it. If you don't feel like editing everything individually, then again, you can just use something like that, like schoolhouse. There we go. That's automatic. Or like substitute spice. See, right here. It it gives you basically a theme to start with, and that I like that theme. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then let's go back. And well, this is your home. So click edit page up here and then start to type. You can say, welcome. And you can type stuff. And 
can go on and go on and go on. But one page is not going to really be that good. So you can click up here and create a new page. And it should be at the top level. And here we go. Now you can go to this page and you can say... And then you can also embed pictures. So let's make another new page and say pictures. And let's put that essay picture because... Alright, so then you can just go here, back to here, control C, copy, paste. Now I'm not going to actually keep this website, just remember. And you can change the size so that it doesn't generously fit your whole website. You can change that. Remember, please follow the plagiarism rules. Um, don't put anything that shouldn't be up. Make sure that you cite your sources. And, yeah. And then, if you want to edit your site layout, you click here. And that's where you can change things. Like, you can put a horizontal navigation at the top. Like that. And you can click here and just say, you can add different pages, like pictures and overview. You can add another one for pictures, like that. Click OK. And you can also add a custom footer and say something that you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And see how the colors already match. You can even change how what the width of your um, website is. So, for example, if you only want it to be 80% of the screen, you can do that. And it'll have a nice wrapper on the side. Header, you can have that. Oh, we want a header. Yep. And if you have a logo or like a picture you want, you can. We don't have a logo. Vertical, yeah. Let's have it in the middle. Horizontal, let's have it standard. And so, I just had to create a, um, a website for your school project so that you can make one more thing sharing settings this is kind of important right now anyone can find this publicly on the web basically if they google search project 101 they'll find this website let's say you don't want that you just want people with the links so that you don't have random people going to your website and reading all your stuff and you can do that but let's say you want specific people only to be able to see this thing then you click here and basically, if you go to this website now, it'll say, sign in, or I'm not going to have you access. And then you'll have to put someone else's email into there. Probably your teachers. Hopefully your teachers, if you do that. Otherwise, they can't grade your project. So that's just a little. You can just click here to go back to your website. That's just a little tutorial on how to make a website. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and use it to your information. Remember, follow the rules, don't plagiarize, and enjoy this project. I'll see you later, and be sure to check out our other videos on our website. Thank you.